Good morning and welcome to another video from me and Travel On World and today we're up in the north of Lanzarote in Orzola and we're going to head over to the small island of La Graciosa. If you've never been here before then you are missing out. This is the hidden gem of the Canary Islands. It's absolutely stunning. We're heading over on the Linnaeus Romero ferry and I'm going to take you with me and show you around the island. It's beautiful. Let's go take a look. So with ticket in hand, we boarded the Linnaeus Romero Ferry. This is brand spanking new. It's not long been on the island and for a 25 minute crossing over to a small island, you wait till you see the luxury of this amazing ferry. It's just incredible. It's very similar to the one that they have that goes to Fuerteventura as well, which is also brand new. And they also do catamarans to Papagayo. They really are the leaders when it comes to boat trips in Lanzarote. And there's a link below if you want to book, but do book in advance because summer, it's a five to seven day wait. Up on the top deck, you've got plenty of places to sit outside, feel the breeze in your hair as you head over to Graciosa and downstairs will just blow you away. So if you want to get out of the sun and downstairs that is where the shaded area is and look how comfortable this place is. It's so new it's got that new ferry smell just like a new car. Everything's shiny and everything is immaculate. They've got a bar on board you can get a hot drink, a soft drink, an alcoholic drink and they've got tables and chairs in the middle as well so you really can sit back and relax. But you're only on the ferry for 25 minutes but what a way to travel you couldn't get much more luxury than this on a 25 minute crossing to another island superb so this ferry design is exactly the same as the Linnaeus Romero ferry to Fuerteventura that's also brand new as well that's the one that I'm always talking about when I take you on a little tour around Playa Blanca and that's the foot passenger ferry so they've got this one to Graciosa and they've got the other one to Fuerteventura so if you go on either of the Linnaeus Romero foot passenger ferries you're guaranteed a bit of luxury like this they've even got their own merch look at that who would think that this is just a small family run business that started in La Graciosa these guys have grown so so fast and they're doing an amazing job as well just look at the quality of the ferry if this is the ferry imagine what the catamaran cruises are like as we head off from Orzola over to La Graciosa if you're on the top deck you'll get amazing views you can sit back and relax it's not choppy however when it does go around the corner it can get a little bit bumpy but with this ferry you don't feel it at all you can see lots of people on board today. There was a little event that I'm gonna tell you about later on in the video. That's why I'm heading over here to um, discover a little bit about Linnaeus Romero, this family run business from La Graciosa that have actually started a foundation. Now this foundation is going to be giving back to the islands. So it sounds like it's gonna be really, really good to find out exactly what's going on. And I will tell you all about it once I have the answers. As we head into La Graciosa, you can see amazing views there. You can see all the little white buildings, very similar to Lanzarote. However, all of these are built on the sand. This place is so Canarian, you couldn't find much more Canarian than La Graciosa. Into Caleta de Cibo, which is where our adventure starts. Stay tuned, because I'm gonna take you on a walk all the way around the island. So here we are, we arrived safely. What an amazing ferry that was, it was so plush. And we've arrived in Caleta de Cibo. This is like the main harbour area of La Graciosa. And this is where everybody arrives. And whether you come in just to do the ferry and have a little look around, or whether you're doing the amazing catamaran excursion, this is where you come and you get plenty of time to have a little wander around the island. There's so many things that you can see. And I'm gonna take you on a little walk, let's go. So here we go, we're gonna do a little bit of live commentary. Now I've got the microphone switched on, so if you are listening to this, um, I haven't voiced over it and I've decided to keep it. <laughs> if you're not listening to this, then you're listening to another voice and you don't even know this exists. But this is the beautiful Caleta de Cibo. Now it's quiet here at the moment because we came on the very early ferry to come over and we're here for a little presentation today from Linnaeus Romero. Now, Linnaeus Romero are one of the biggest boat companies on the island and they've got a new thing called the Foundation. So they're here to tell everybody, or to tell people all about the Foundation and what they do. So I'll fill you in once I know, um, but basically it's about giving back 
to the local community. So I'm pretty positive that after this video, we'll be saying, if you book with Linnaeus Romero, you're booking more than just a boat trip because they're giving back to the islands. But look at this view. Look at this. Unspoilt, beautiful, picturesque, amazing scenery. What a place to visit, eh? Now behind all these sort of restaurants in the front, there's uh, some different places and there's a little church and everything's built on the sand as well. So there's no cars here and no roads, but you can hire bikes as you can see. You can hire an AJ bike and have a little wander around or a cycle round. And um, we're gonna show you behind the scenes anyway. I've got to head over to this presentation first to see what's going on. So you can see all local produce. You've got a little baker's here. And the locals here, they are, you know, true, real Canarians. Uh, a lot of them still wear the, um, the little straw hats as well. So it's just, it's just like another world here. It is just like another world. I would love to live here. Absolutely love it. So that's where you uh, rent the bike by the looks of it. So not far, you could get the ferry over, rent one of these bikes. And there's a link in bio for the ferry, or a link below for the ferry. You can book ferry only tickets if you've got a car and there's plenty of parking. Or you can actually book with a bus pickup as well. So they'll come and pick you up from one of the resorts and take you all the way up to Orzola and over on the ferry. Look at that for a view. I mean, this is one of the beaches. This is like the town beach, I guess. <laughs> it's just beautiful in itself, but a little bit further on, there's a Playa Francesa, and there's loads of little hidden beaches here. You have to have a little bit of a walk and a bit of a wander, but it's well, well worth it. And just imagine living here. Look at this. Look at that, look at the little houses, the little boats. This really is a magical place. And if you've not been, you need to come. <laughs> it's as simple as that. If you have been to Lanzarote before or you're coming to Lanzarote and you don't visit La Graciosa, you are certainly missing out. I would say you wouldn't go to Egypt and not see the pyramids. So certainly don't come to Lanzarote and not come and see La Graciosa. I think it gets lost with, you know, Tim and Fire National Park and everybody wants to see the volcanoes and they don't know about La Graciosa or they don't fancy it or, you know, they haven't got the information on it. So that's what we're here for, to give you the information. Another bike rental. So you can rent a bike here as well, straight off the beach. We're gonna have a chat with him later, see what it's all about. He sees a guy here having a bit of a, a bit of a cycle around. Hola. Look at this. And you can also rent accommodations, look. So this one here, right on the front, has what's called a VV. Um, which means that it's, it's a holiday home. So you can rent this, imagine that. Imagine renting that place, opening that front door, and this is the view that you get. <laughs> i tell you what, I might have to come and retire here. I don't know, make sure to like, follow and subscribe. And maybe one day I'll make some money off doing all these videos and I can come and retire here with a little holiday home. So I'm heading in this direction. I'm gonna find out what this foundation's about because it sounds absolutely fantastic. And then I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. And I'm gonna take you on a walk around the village as well. So stay tuned. And uh, we're going to show you the whole of La Graciosa. Well as far as my legs will take me. 
So this is behind the main harbour area and uh, this is the little church, the Virgin Del Mar. Um, all about the sea here, it's all fishermen, um, everything's about the sea. You can see that the windows and doors are mostly painted blue. But look at this, imagine living here, imagine that being your local supermarket. Now, as I said, there's no roads, there are a few cars. And I've been wandering around and there's a lot of new places that you can rent. So they are moving into tourism. Will that spoil the island? I don't know, what's your opinion on that? You can already see that there are sort of vehicles around. But look at this, absolutely stunning. You can see all the locals, many of them work for Linus Romero. And just walking around, it's so peaceful as well. Let's take a little look down here and just see what's going on. Look at that, you've got mountain views. And it's just so surreal just to be walking around here. It's like its own world. So you can see there's some fishing sort of nets and baskets over there. And there is a little road there. Now, the last time I came, there were zero roads at all, but look, there's a little road here, which is new. That seems to be uh, doing something. So that's new, but look at this. So these are the little houses. A little bit further back, most of the rented accommodation seems to be a little bit further back from here. This really does seem to be where the locals are. But look at that for a view. What an absolutely incredible place to live. Perfect, eh? So we're back in the main area now, where it's all happening. You've got your dive college there. This is where you get your tickets and things. And like I said, they do all sorts of different things here from the normal ferry service to the actual Graciosa catamaran, which is one of our biggest selling excursions. And I can see that the catamaran is in here with one of the number one guides, Jens. Thank you, hi Dave. He's, the one that, he's the one that's taking all of these people out today. Welcome <laughs> on the island. <laughs> so he's gonna be taking people out on the catamaran. So let's go take a look at the catamaran because it's just superb. As catamaran goes, catamarans go, should I say, this is brand spanking new, just like the ferry. So that was the ferry that we came on. And um, when you book the Graciosa catamaran, You'll either come on the ferry and then board the catamaran or they'll pick you up directly with the ferry. I guess it just depends on the time of year. Um, but the ferry, will, the ferry will bring you here. You'll get a little bit of free time on the island and then you'll come back and you'll board this incredible catamaran. Look at this. There we go, look at this. So this is the flagship of the Linnaeus Romero fleet. This is the superb catamaran. Just stunning. And you can see you've got loads of places to chill out and relax. You've got a big decking area here. All the nets to enjoy. Full crew to look after you throughout the day. And I'll tell you what, I highly recommend this one. As catamarans go, this is probably the best on the island. So the day is fully underway now. Loads of people have arrived. It's a little bit later, nearing sort of afternoon time. So you can see there's more people around than when we arrived this morning, but it's still just beautiful. This is another one of the back street areas. And check that out. Beautiful places. 
I know I've said it again. I've said it once, I'll say it again. It'd be really nice to live here, wouldn't it? It's really peaceful, really quiet. I imagine it could be a bit noisy at night time. I know that the Gracia, Gracios Arians, <laughs> or the Canarians, they like a good fiesta. Um, so I would imagine at night time it could be a little bit more lively. But there you go, look at that. And again, a lot of these places for rent if you want to come and enjoy La Graciosa. You maybe come over for the night. I know it's difficult to get places. They're all fully booked and sold out. Um, but if you do contact Linnaeus Romero, I know they've got some accommodations that you can book. And maybe just spend a night of your holiday on the island, which could be a nice thing to do. Pop over on the ferry and uh, get yourself a night on the island. You can hire a, a jeep to take you around. Because, I mean, this is just the walking distance part. Oh, there you go. Let's head back to the front. So here we go. If you do come on the night time, this is where the locals eat. Uh, Mateo's hamburgers. And uh, when we came, we went there and the food was delicious and dirt cheap as well. And here is some rented accommodation. So here, like I said, a whole little complex or um, rented accommodation. There's another one just up there as well. And look at that. Imagine, stop in there. And you literally a stone's throw away from these amazing views. Look at that. So that's called La Padella. It's a nice little apartments to rent there. And you're a stone's throw away from the hustle and bustle, if you can call it that. Just stunning. Another one there, look. There's plenty of people having an explore of the island, seeing what's going on. And it is breathtaking, it really is. And back on the beach. So you can see, you can't get lost. You can wander around all day and try and get lost, but you'll always find your way back to Coletta de Siba. You can see there's plenty more people here now. And in the summer, it's a lot busier. But that, folks, is La Graciosa. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.